Hello friends, family and subscribers. Welcome back to Sunday Soul Sampler. Sorry I missed last week. It was Mother's Day and I got a beautiful surprise Mother's Day gift with my younger daughter showing up a bit unexpectedly and so that was delightful and I ended up not having any opportunity to do the filming last week. So I apologize. But wow, what a powerful week it has been. All this aspect of tuning into the Divine Feminine. We really, in our family and in some of the readings I've been doing this week, acknowledged that there's a, a great healing energy that seems to be coming through our lineages, our mothers and their mothers and so on back through time. It's almost like this mothering, nurturing energy is coming forward right now. It's coming to comfort us at a time when we all really need this. Um, it's coming to comfort us as women to really feel aligned with the power of our, our mother's lineage. And it's also here to support and comfort the masculine. When I was pulling cards this morning for this um, little, for this little, uh, you know, prophetic look at the upcoming week, I had the emperor literally fly out of the deck, which doesn't happen all that often. And uh, I almost caught the feeling that when he landed on the table, there was like a clunk sound, um, you know, him with his armor and having to sort of hold it all together. The emperor is like the proud father, the patriarch, um, the authority figure, the, the representation of the military. It's this energy that has to be sort of almost dug in and very rigid in order to hold the power and the protectiveness in some ways of what the divine masculine can bring but in its over uh, extension into that realm it becomes very rigid and so just like the tower card in the tarot we can see the emperor as kind of having cracks in his armor and you know being more of a negative influence in some ways than a protector and a benefactor. So for this upcoming week, I do see a shift in our attention and a shift in the masculine energy. I was amazed to see these two characters, the hermit and um, the king of pentacles sitting side by side. And what that says to me is that we are in a time where there's a deepening of a wisdom and a maturity, particularly within the realm of the masculine. So this encompasses everything to do with, you know, the systems of authority and domination on our planet, uh, including things like the military, um, banking establishments, uh, industry, finance, and all those kinds of things. And having that hermit show up to bring a deepening sense of maturity and also responsibility at going forward in a new way. And I literally was like really affected by looking at how the Hermit and the um, King of Pentacles appeared to be facing each other somehow and looking almost at what the other one has to share. So a feeling of the masculine going through some kind of transformation where a lot of the, the ego and the rigidity of that is falling away and we're finding a wiser elder kind of guidance coming through with the masculine. Right now we're showing up as this wheel of fortune, the sense of hanging on as oh, there's so many unknowns and I mentioned a couple of weeks ago that I didn't see a change in that for about three weeks. So we've got maybe another four or five days of this hanging on, feeling like things are spinning out of control. And yet I've got such great news on the horizon here, folks. You know, just keeping keeping your kind of protection armor on. Um, so much beautiful emotional healing that people have been doing in this last month that I've been speaking about, whether you're aware of it or not. The star, the ace of cups, um, people really settling into the depths of what healing looks like for them on an emotional level. And there's real gifts that are coming from that. There's real gifts and new opportunities. 
and it feels as though by the end of this week, even in the next four or five days, there may be some real clarity and messages about a longer term possibility or prospect related to a new kind of finances, a new kind of economic restoration. Um, you know, I talked before about resource management. I feel like we're going to be getting a sense in this next even, um, you know, few days, but definitely in the next two or three weeks about a new economic system and a new way of um, finding our own autonomy with resources, with finances, with economics, and not feeling so so out of control like that wheel of fortune so at a loss and so um under the um the authority of these domineering systems that are kind of crumbling and falling away like i said that emperor just flew right out of the deck and landed on the table so it seems as though that system um whether we want whether we believe it or not that system is really coming to the end of its um successful uh, actualization it's starting to kind of crumble from within is what i'm getting and so i love that there's this celebration um the you know here in the northern hemisphere it's getting warmer it's getting brighter and i sense there's joy and optimism coming up here there's going to be messages there's going to be information some kind of revealing insights um disclosures perhaps and a real cause for celebration and a sense of wanting to come together as i mentioned last week i think not just or two weeks ago not just for the the fun of hanging out together but all this time that we've been separated and had a lot of time to think and contemplate and research and um, do our inner healing work when we reunite, it feels very, very purposeful. It feels very um, grounded and really um, like we are coming together and quickly birthing these new ideas, these new visions, a lot of um, creativity, a lot of optimism. Two aces side by side here on the side. So our um, Ace of Pentacles and our Ace of Cups indicating a new beginning, both in the realm of the material and in the realm of the emotional. Um, it almost, to me, is a sense that we've, we've already forged new ground with our understanding, with all the truths that have been uncovered, with all of the, you know, um, the research and the education and yeah, like we've just come to this place of inner focus, inner clarity um, and activation. Like there's something about, you know, when you pull back a, a bowstring to release an arrow, it's that restraint or that withdrawal um, that actually creates the propulsion that sends the arrow moving forward. And that's what you know 2020 and this whole experience that we've been through collectively worldwide to me is pulling that bowstring back really taut so that when it's released we're really going to move we're really going to activate this week look forward to seeing that light at the end of the tunnel and feeling um, a sense of rejuvenation and hopefulness and also real groundedness and purposefulness, like looking at ways that you can put some of your insights into action, especially in the realm of material resources and finances. Go for it. And I look forward to seeing you next Sunday. Blessings on your journey.